let's stop that. As you can see, um, living in a house with media students, you get to try all these sort of um, weird creations. And uh, this is one of them. What do you think? I know the um, top and tail don't match, but I think it's quite a good look. All right, let's get rid of that. Whoa. Bloody hell, that's itchy. All right. Okay. Urban Viking Ale review. Yeah. And I've got all bits of... Um, God, bloody hell, people with long hair, I don't, I don't get it. Why do they like it? It's like being imprisoned. Ah, give me a nice shave dead any day of the week. Right, okay. Today's beer is a stout, and um, it was recommended to me by uh, a guy called Tony. Tony! Uh, from Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. It's his favourite Imperial Stout. Um, and it's from the Brooklyn Brewery. Sorry, I didn't give that long enough to... There you go. Brooklyn Brewery. Chocolate stout. Right, let's give you some info on this. It says it's an extra strong stout. Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Brewery. Um, I've had a couple of their beers. And they've all been good. Um, there's not much info on this one. And for some reason it all seems to be in a different language. Not American, I mean... Um, from my limited knowledge, it looks a little bit Italian. I don't know. Ten percent, blimey! I didn't think it was that much. Uh, anyway, black chocolate stout. Right, I've had I've had this one in the fridge for a little bit, so I did want to give it a bit of a chill, and then hopefully once the flavours start sort of warming up, I can give you a little bit of um bit of info. I'm never going to be good with that crap. I swear. Yeah, Brooklyn Brewery. I've tried uh, quite a couple of their beers now. Lovely cap, I'll be keeping that one. They all seem to be different colours. Um, the Brooklyn Lager was a green a green logo, and the Summer Ale was a blue. So, nice black one for the stout. Yeah, they've been pretty steady there, Bruce. Um, the Summer Ale was quite nice. Oh, look at that. That is thick. Wow. Oh, Lovely. I was going to use my mean, the, the meantime snifter because the, the stouts look awesome in that, but I've just had an IPA and I didn't, you know, I was going to give it a wash, but I couldn't be bothered. I'm in a lazy mood today, it's my day off. Anyway, so, Brooklyn Chocolate Stout. I haven't really seen any reviews on it. There are reviews out there online, but I wanted to sort of like uh, go in a little bit, you know, a little bit, um, a little bit blank without the knowledge. Um, so let's get a nose on it and see what we're getting. That's weird. Getting um, a lot of dark fruit on that. Really mild uh, roasting. Yeah, there's a lot of dark, a real, a real amount of dark fruit, almost like a, like a Belgian ale or something like that. Uh, the roasting's there, um, like I say, it's not very pronounced. Getting a little bit of chocolate, very, 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 very slight. Right, I'm just going to get stuck into this one and see what it's like. Cheers guys, 10%, so I'll be careful with this one. Wow, straight away. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm, oh man, that aftertaste. Wow. And, then it, and it carries on. Um, wow. Right, um, the initial hit, the first hit you get is like a very sort of sweet berry, like a dark berry or something like that. And then you get um, like a slight sort of chocolatey sweetness. Blimey, that's a long aftertaste. Um, it's sort of like a, a sort of a chocolatey sweetness. Um, and then you think it's, you think that's the um, you know that's the taste over with. But then this sort of uh, roasted coffee starts creeping in, and it starts building and building and building. Um, 
and it's uh, it's still in my mouth now. Um, oh bloody hell, I wish I loved coffee. <laughs> oh, that is really strong. Um, is there any notes on this? It says, um, oh, limited bottling, winter 2010-2011. In the last century, British brewers made strong stouts for the SARS court. They were called imperial stouts. Our black chocolate stout, brewed once yearly for the winter season, achieves a chocolate aroma and flavour through the artful blending of six varieties of black chocolate and roasted malts. Okay. So it has actually got chocolate in it. I thought it didn't... Um, I'm sure someone told me that it didn't. Um, but it's, no, it says ingre well, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. So it's chocolate, unless it's chocolate malts, but... Wow, that aftertaste. That's a really strange one. The very first initial gulp reminds me of a, like a rock, a Rochefort ten or something like that. Like a Belgian, you know, when you got that sort of really, sort of like mould, <clears throat> dark fruit with the sweetness, and then it's just like a truckload of coffee just slams into your face, and um, upends all its all its load onto your tongue. It's just like. Shh, you know, it's just filling up your mouth, filling up your mouth, and just when you think they can't get any more coffee in your mouth, really, and then it sort of just stops. So it's not too. It's all right. I, I do like it actually. It's definitely one I'd only have one of though. Um, that's a real. That's a real sit back and take your time with it. That's really impressed me actually. Um, I've got to try more from the Brooklyn Brewery because they do so much stuff, and um, I'm going to be going to the States next year. And New York is one of the cities I'm going to be visiting, and I'm definitely going to pop into the Brooklyn Brewery because I've got a mate who lives over there, and um, he's going to show me around. Um, I'm really impressed with that because some breweries, you know, they'll have a really extensive range, but there's not too much limit. You know, there's not too much differentiation between them. It'll be like a golden hour, powell, an organic hour, stout. You know, pretty um, sort of basic stuff. But the Brooklyn breweries tend to do a lot of um, a lot of differentiation and and it'll be like I mean I've just watched a review online now for their brown owl and um, I didn't even know they had a brown owl but I imagine that's really nice as well yeah I'm really impressed with that um, like I say not a massive coffee fan so, so how much time have I got left because I'm waffling a bit now sorry uh, two minutes yeah I'm not too big a fan of coffee but I, like I say I can appreciate it when it's um when it's used properly and you know and these people have obviously put a lot of time and effort into this um, and I can see why it's probably Tony's favourite Imperial because it's the best Imperial stat I've had, I think I've had one before this, I think it was the Harveston or something like that um, which was nice but this is this is something else and like I say 10% and it's not that strong the coffee's strong but there's hardly that much of an alcohol burn. Really, really good stuff. Um, that from me is going to get a nine and a half out of ten because it's quality. It's just really good quality. That's the sort of beer that I'll probably pay about three or four quid for in a bottle and, and still be happy with it. I think that was only about two quid or something. So, cheers, guys. Feeling very civilized and um, laid back at the moment with this. So I'm going to take my time. Cheers.